Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video, I will show you how you can fully customize Zoa CRM to the needs of the real estate business. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share on this channel. Also, I have to mention that I have already done a video telling about why Zoho CRM is a very suitable solution for any real estate business that wants to streamline and automate their business processes and why it fits perfectly for their needs. I will leave the link to that video in the corner and down below in the description box. Make sure to check that video out. And now let's get on into this video. So let's see how Zoho CRM customized for the needs of real estate business looks like. We created this demo account to showcase how we can customize Zoho CRM to the needs of the real estate business. And let's get into this. So when you open up your homepage, you can see different types of components. Here we added some basic tabs like open deals, untouched deals, calls, meetings, and open tasks. You can change that around and move around. We also added some analytic components, for example, the pipeline deals by stage. But again, you can customize what dashboards you want to see on your homepage. Here you can see the menu. The basic menu in Zoho CRM usually uh, consists of leads, contacts, and deals, but you can see that there are some custom menu items, for example, properties that you will definitely use within uh, the Zoho CRM for real estate. But we will go through the leads first. So here you can see the list of the leads. This is the basic uh, list view that you will see in any type of Zoho CRM but we created the custom list view and it looks like this. So you can see all of the pictures and you can see different fields here and you can fully customize which fields you will see. So for example, you can change the company from where the lead comes to from to the city where they are from or the property that they are interested in. Then let's open up the lead. So let's go to this lead. You will see again some of the basic fields here, but also you will see uh, an additional field as properties. So you can assign a property to a lead from a lead record and you can also create a new property that will be assigned to this lead directly from the lead record. So let's choose and assign a property. So you can see different properties here. Let's choose this one, for example, and then you can confirm and assign this property to this lead and you will see it in the record. Now let's go to the contacts tab. So here you can see again the list of the contacts, you can see the pictures, you can see all of some, also some of the tasks that are assigned to this contact and you can view them in different types of view. There is basic list and Kanban view and there is canvas, custom uh, list view, tile view and table view. We'll go into that a bit further in the properties tab. So let's click on the contact. And you again will see uh, the customized look of this uh, record. So you can see the overview right here. You can see also the timeline of this uh, contact within the Zoho CRM. You can see the deal that is assigned to this record, the information, the contact information. You can also add some attachments. Uh, you can again see some deals, uh, you can make the estimate, there's different invoices, properties that you can also assign, uh, create a new or assign and you can also for the calls, you can schedule a call, log a call or call right now directly from this record um, of the contact. The next step is accounts. So here you can see all of the companies that you're working with. You can see their logos as pictures. We created that in the canvas. You can again change uh, the different fields. So for example, in the contacts, the fields that are here, the ones that you see right when you open your CRM, you can see the phone, the email, the account name and lead source. And the, in the accounts tab, obviously those will be different fields. So here you can see the phone, the website, the industry, the billing city and the billing country of the account. So again, you can change up different fields that you will see uh, depending on, the, on your needs. 
And now let's move on to the properties. So you can view the properties in different types of views. I prefer the tile view because as you can see, the pictures are pretty big here and you can see all of the information. You can add additional fields that you will see again, but I think for the properties, this is the main uh, information that you can need. Uh, there's also another like custom list view, but here you can see the pictures a bit less and I prefer for the properties, again, the tile view. Um, let's go to the record of the property. So when you open up the record of the property, um, you can see the basic information and also a lot of uh, custom fields that we created to fill out for you when you were um, filling out the information about the property that you will need while working with the clients. Uh, all of the important information, the land, the attributes, the improvements that were made to this property, financials, looks, lookups. You can also uh, fill out the notes here, add attachments with more pictures, for example. You can see the deals that are associated to this property and you can see the landlords which you can assign to this property. So, for example, let's assign this landlord to this property and confirm it and you will be able to see the landlord here you will be able to see the agent so for example we can assign a agent of this property here uh, you can assign a lead or an account to this property too so let's assign a lead to this property so all of the important information will be stored within the record of the property, which is very, very useful. Now let's move on to the deals tab. So for the deals, you can view it in the regular list view, or you can go to Kanban view and view all of the deal stages. Again, we can create a fully customizable, fully uh, customized to your company deal stages, depending on how your business works. And then you can move uh, the deals throughout different stages by simply dragging and dropping them here. And you can see all of these different types of stages. So as you can see, Azure CRM can be fully customized to the needs of the real estate business. I showed only some of the functions within the CRM and some Zoho CRM canvas and custom modules and custom fields. But I have to say that we also created some custom widgets for the needs of the real estate business. If you want to check out how they look and about their functionality, because they help to save a lot of time to the real estate agents, I will leave the link to that video in the corner and down below in the description box. Make sure to check it out and see what other custom solutions we can provide while customizing Zoho CRM to the needs of your real estate business. I really hope that this video was helpful for you and if you have any questions left about how can we tailor Zoho CRM or any other Zoho app from this ecosystem to the needs of real estate business, make sure to book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below. We will answer all of your questions. And if you want a project from our team, we'll provide you with an accurate estimate within a very short period of time. But again, if you just have questions, you can still book a free consultation and we will consult you about Zoho CRM or Zoho in general for the needs of real estate business. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And I will see you in the next week's video.